morning to you. Life and Style today comes to you from the Swiss Lenana Mount Hotel, located along Lenana Road. My name is Catherine Mwangi. This is Life and Style, books and blogs. My guest today is a 16-year-old high school student who has written um, a blog on Wattpad. Her name is Tracy Neema Mukami. Tracy Neema Buku. Her name is Tracy Neema Buku, and we'll be getting to get to know more about her. Also with passions in film production, incredible, riveting, innovative young girl who is set to inspire you this morning. So let's go get to know more about her. So we get to meet the young lady, Tracy Buku. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yes, and you're in high school. Yeah. And you look very pretty, by the way. You have Thank such a you. baby face. Are you sure you're 16? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> no, I say I think, I think you're 15, because you recently just turned 16 in January this year. See, I'm, I'm, I'm even about to give you a birth date. Maybe I shouldn't. Women don't like that. But you're 16, and you've achieved so much already, so that's something to talk about. So tell us where you go to school. I go to Lukenya IGCC. Okay. Based where? In Athi River. Okay, yeah. Athi River. And you're in what grade? Grade 11. And that grade is which one? The one at the start or at the end? You know, okay. most of us went to public. <laughs> it's it's um, the last level in O level. Uh -huh. The last grade. Yes. I'm about to finish my levels. Yes, this year. Yeah. Okay. And you started writing when you were at what age? I was I was young when I started writing. You still are very yeah. young. <laughs> okay, I was very small. I remember first story I wrote was called The Selfish King. Uh -huh. It was, yeah, I was I gave I wrote and I gave it to some of my classmates to read. Yeah, and I don't know. I had a bad handwriting back then, <laughs> so I don't know how they read it. So yeah, uh -huh. then recently I started again about last year. Yes, um, I wrote one drafted my notebook i gave my friend she was like yeah it's a good book yeah should actually something i would read yeah so i decided to actually post on whatpad and i just i knew i'd have like eight reads <laughs> plus my mom and dad yes which are 10 reads yes um but i i'm now at 1.8k reads from october 28th which was the first time i posted the first chapter yes. till right now i have 1.8k that is amazing. Where do you draw your passion for writing? I, I, I've always loved writing. It, it's been my way of relaxing. Um, yeah. Just, I, I just, I just you write all the time. Writing. You walk around with notebooks. Yeah, so many in my bag. <laughs> You're joking. I have so many notebooks. <laughs> Why do you need so many? I just write drafts there. Um, yeah, just keep me busy. Yeah. So like during uh, break time, is that what you call them in your school, like break time? In mm -hmm. my time, we used to call them. Has that word changed? It's break yeah, time. It's break so during time. break time, you just sit down with your notebook yeah. and write? Yeah, it can be break time, um, five minutes during prep. Yes. When I've revised a lot, I just relax by writing. So you have studied in prep, and then you come and start writing again? Yeah, then, then I continue studying. It's my short break. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to do medicine. I want to be a psychologist. And I still want to pursue writing. I yeah. still want to do writing. And later. you are a clean grade A student. All yeah. through your short life, you've been getting A's. Yes. So you want to do medicine. Why? Of course, I know you're brilliant and everything. <laughs> but again, where is that coming from? Since I was a child, I've always wanted to help other people. So I with pediatrician, I wanted to do that. I went to oncologist, which is for cancer, then now I'm settling for psychologist because, yeah. So I want to read our minds and say, these ones are not normal. <laughs> this one needs to be incarcerated somewhere. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about your story on what part. First of all, you go by what name? Lavender Sky 17. Lavender Sky 17. Remember I told you to flip your hair? <laughs> yeah, it's just, just, yes, good. So, <laughs> Lavender Sky 17 yeah. is your name. And what's the name of your story? Hailstorm. Hailstorm. Wow. That's a very um, captivating title. Yeah. Uh huh. What's the story about? Um, first, first it was called Answers. I recently Answers. changed Answers. Answers. Uh -huh. yeah. I changed the name. It's a mystery. It's about a girl called Maria. She loses her best friend. Most people, like the police officers in, the, in that town, 
ruled it out as a suicide, but she was sure it wasn't suicide. So she's not looking for the killer, and huh? it it ends up bad, bad for her. So it's like a crime thriller. Yeah, it's a mystery and a thriller eh. in that category. So I'm here asking her how will it end? Look at me wanting the. <laughs> I want to know how this story is going to end. I'm five chapters away from finishing. Five chapters? Yeah. How many chapters have you written so far? Thirty. Three zero? Yeah. From October 28th to now? Yeah. Wow. So how many do you load per week? Or per, how often do you load up on what part? Um, twice a week, most of the time. Or, yeah, when I'm not busy, it can be thrice a week. And then you give, like, the, the readers opportunities to comment? Yeah. Yeah? So what kind of feedback do you get? Um, most, most people tell, uh, comment good things, which actually motivate me the most. And the votes also, and the reads. Basically, uh, writers' best friends are the readers, so... I like that. I get, I get motivated every day when I, when I just wake up yeah. and I go through my reads. Yeah. I just wake up to just check to my read. Yeah, what are they saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah, okay. most of them are my friends. Yeah, that is amazing. Okay. How does the story like? I'm imagining because I write as well. Like you, you like to take people like places, involve mystery, and yeah. and just leave it there hanging, have cliffhangers, so that people can now come mm -hmm. in again to watch at some point. I mean, to read at some point. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, the role your parents have played in helping you get to where you are now. What has that been like? It's been good because I actually thought my parents would not um, support me when I said I want to start. They were the first people I told when I was coming home yeah. um, during that midterm. And my mom's like, yeah, you should. She downloaded Wattpad. My dad downloaded Wattpad. Yeah. And they read my story. Oh, we have some tea. Hi, Raphael. How are you? Good. What do you have for us? Black coffee. Black coffee. Nice. You'll take coffee? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> then you won't sleep today. <laughs> Thank you, Raphael. That's hot chocolate. Okay. Thank you so much. Asante Sano. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, we can actually just serve as we talk. So we're talking about um, your mother supported you. Of course, your dad did that. Oh, wait, you have a sibling? Yeah. Are you the first or the last one? I'm the last. Yeah, hey, you're the baby. <laughs> so is the first one your brother or sister? Brother. Mm -hmm. Does he also have writing passions as well? I know. No, no far from it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> OK. And your dad also supported you. In fact, it's your father who wrote to us. Yeah. Uh, and, and he said, you know, my daughter is very gifted. So I was like, wow, this parent is very, very supportive. Yeah. So he made us know you exist, <laughs> which is a good thing. And which parents should be able to do. If you have a gifted child, let us know. And, you know, who knows? She, he or she may just be on a program, just like Tracy. Yes? Okay, so this book that has 35 chapters. So when you were starting, did you know that you'd be writing 35 chapters? No. No? I was going to make it a short story. And then you decide to just stretch us. When you're reading, you're like, our, our tatoka kwa stories. That's what you decided. Eh? It's too good. Let me keep pulling, pulling them. Eh? Yeah. Mm. So, what has made you decide it would be 35? Um, mostly because when I got like chapter 25, I got close to the end. I was supposed to end it at 30. You were tired of stretching us. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I, I, was, I was going to make it 30. Then I just decided to lengthen it a bit before I start my other book. Ah, nice. So you have even another one on standby? Yeah, I want to start another one. Okay. So you already have the story? Yeah. That is so cool. So how does an A student get time to write? Um, I write during the holidays. Mostly. You write? During the holidays. During the holidays? Yeah. Uh -huh. And even though I have so much work, I'm, I'm still able to balance. Let's say weekdays I'll read or do homework, but weekend is when I can actually write. So which makes me post like twice a week. I can write during the weekend, then I post on Tuesday and Thursday. Ah, wow. So that's how you balance. What does it take to be an A student? I, so much. 
Tell us. Because um, I'm scared. I'm afraid of failing. I'm scared of failing. So that, that drives me to actually work very hard, listen. It's normally so stressful because if you just fail in one subject, teachers are on your neck. Yeah, so it, that's, that's how it's been. But you've been an A student since you were born. I mean, there are no teachers then apart from your parents. So are we saying you were born like genius? You know, some things it's good to just say yes. I guess. <laughs> Don't be modest. You always have to be in a position where you're celebrating your success. Yeah. Yeah, because not many people are gifted. And there may be young people watching you who may want to know what are the secrets. How does she study? How can she have 1.8K people? reading her stuff and then she's an A student are they even telling us the truth you know and I haven't even released other things that you're doing now mm -hmm. which we are, we are going to get into but I want to get into how do you study how do you not fail exams <laughs> I, I listen in class I'm the person who if I don't listen I'll fail I have to listen and pay attention in class and whatever I don't understand is what I'll read later but what I've heard I understand it sticks yeah so it's listening and also the gift of understanding. That is incredible. That is incredible. Okay. And you're also interested or passionate or involved in film production. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me just have my hot chocolate. As you tell us, how? Like, tell, tell me what you have done. Um, this, we normally have an, an annual, the drama festival. Mm -hmm. Our school doesn't do the stage. We do film production which is much easier. So um, it's not much easier. But you see it's easy to you because you know the genius thing is the one talking right now. <laughs> the genius Kajin that is talking. But it's not easy. <laughs> Film production. It's not easy. But uh huh. So um we last year I didn't participate because I was new to the school. So I I wasn't doing as much. Okay. But now this year I I told my my English teacher is one who's in charge of the film club. He asked me if I'd like to, he t I told him I'd like to script and also be the as first assistant director for the film. And I was also with some other girl called Naomi, who's my friend, very supportive. One of the eight friends, I'm another name. <laughs> yeah, one, of, one of the eight, you have yeah. eight disciples. <laughs> yeah, no. you are blessed. Uh -huh. I have other friends, but those that are the, your yeah, close circle. Close friends, yeah. Yes. Um, she also we worked together with also my English teacher. During our free lessons, we'd go and script. It was it took a long time to actually finalize on the script and the casting and doing the casting and getting there. The so all the actors, the players are coming from the school. Yeah. So your work is the script writing. Yeah. Which is the most complex yeah now I, but I, it's obviously not complex right <laughs> it was no, of course it's not it's easy i mean isn't it it's just let's be honest this conversation has to be honest it it wasn't that easy because i had i had to get help we had to help each other with naomi and my english teacher we used to do it um twice a week until the final day yeah so wow. we got the story and we got the script. And it was approved? It went to re for the regionals. It was the top in short film, the category. And now we are going for the nationals in April 9th. So it passed regional, it was the top. Not just any position, <laughs> top position. That is amazing. So are you passionate about film as well? Yeah. Yeah? And you want to be writing for film? Yeah, specifically I mean, writing? Yeah, right. And acting? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, you're shy. Yeah. You're pretending you're not shy. You're here having a great conversation. <laughs> having a great conversation. So is that in the works for you as well, writing for film? I'd like to do that later in life. Really? Yeah. Later in life? After you've studied maybe medicine? Yeah. But you never know. You know, let me tell you what happens. Like when you're gifted in something, you, opportunities start to find you for that thing and you actually find time to do it so you'll do your medicine you'll do your writing uh, for film writing for books do you do you plan to write books yeah. hey. Amazing stuff. and you're only 16 what do you want to be when you're 20 <laughs> usually I ask people when 
when they are 50, 60, you, what do you want to do when you're 20? I think I'll still be in university. You'll still be studying medicine? Yeah. Yeah, and hopefully still writing. Yeah. Okay, so what would you advise young people like yourself who are still in high school and are sitting on their gifts? Um, first you get what you love to do and then you do, you do what you love and you love what you do. That's, that's how I live. I have to get what I love to do and I have to love what I do because mm. that's what will push me through and yeah it's good to try whether, whether or not you'll fail you'll never know what will happen. That's, that's how I started the book. I didn't know how many reads I'll get. I just did it because I like Yeah, it. yeah. Have you thought of developing a website? No. Not no, really. not really. Because you see, what you're doing with Wattpad is all your followers on Wattpad, yes? But you have the kind of following where if you developed a website, they would follow you there because they're following you, mm -hmm. the story. So it's not about so much the platform, like where you've reached now. You can easily build your website and people who are attracted to your story, what up what are too. And then you start now bringing eyeballs to your website. And there you can do anything you want because it's your space. So I've given you a tip. When you start making money, you remember me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so kidding. Okay, what kind of advice does your brother give you when he sees all your success? I'm sure he's also an A student. Yeah, he is. Oh my gosh, it's, it's everyone in your family. <laughs> So do you guys talk about your passions, your writing? Not as much, but he just tells me that he's actually proud that I'm writing a book. That is so nice. That is so nice. Do you plan to publish? I would. I would love that to happen. With time, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It would be really, really good. And having it out there, imagine, before you're 18. Look at me throwing you another challenge. Before you're 18, you must publish that book. The, what did you call it? Hail's Storms. Yeah. Yeah, you must publish it. Those are really major achievements. An author at 16. Yeah, so those are two tips. Website and publish it before you're 18. Yeah, and I'll, I'll hold your dad to account. <laughs> okay. In terms of you um, relaxing, like how do you... I know, and don't tell me you write. Like now you're home for the holidays. Yes? What is your plan? What do you do when you're home for the holidays? I just stay at home. So the time, or I just go meet with my best friend. Uh huh. Yeah. And just talk. You meet like here for coffee. You no. talk and then you go home. Mm -mm. Mm. I can either go to the house. Or oh, you visit can... them at their homes. Yeah, we can just. Or oh, you visit them to study. No. You <laughs> see, I had to ask. So you're just chilling, eh? Mm. Yeah. You don't even help your mom to cook. I got you there, I got you. So at least you don't spend as much time writing. Yeah, not, not a lot of time. Yeah, okay. Are there any other achievements in your life that we haven't talked about? Don't hide them. Don't hide them. Let me see if you're going to be proud of them enough to say them. I can't think of any. There, there are that many? No. Uh, <laughs> There's so many, you can't think of them. Your aspirations in as far as writing is concerned, is it always going to be mystery books, you know, those crime thrillers, or what kind of author do you want to be known for? I think I'll just stick to mystery. Yeah? I like that genre. So the fiction side of things. Yeah. Is it? So you won't change your mind at some point and do something else? So it's very inspiring to meet a 16-year-old who knows what she wants and who's doing so many other different things with your life, with your time. It's just amazing. So people who need to read your story on Wattpad, again, I need you to give your name. Lavender Skies 17. So you spell it. L-A-V-E-N-D-E-R-S-K-I-E-S 17 all small letters yes and it's wattpad yeah, and they'll yeah. find your story there yeah they better have good comments <laughs> and if they so is it also the same platform if maybe young people watching want to reach you maybe they want to find out how you do it yeah i've also put my email on my account on wattpad 
So Lavender Sky 17 is where you find Tracy Buku. Um, if you want to read her incredible stories or you want to just reach out to her as a high school student or as a parent, you want her to meet your child to just inspire them, you can do that, right? Yeah, the minute you're on air, everyone, every kind of person reaches out to you for help because there are parents who could be watching and they look at you and they want their kids to have that kind of dedication. So if they reach out to you, don't block them. Yeah, be available. All eight of you, all your eight, the eight of you. What are your best friends' names? <laughs> there's Nikki, there's Lona, there's Stacy, there's Nyasha, there's Naomi, there's Lisa, Vanessa, there's Justin, there's Josh, You want to say hi to them? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm giving you a chance to petition salamu to your BFFs and you refuse it. So you just are you camera shy? You look in the camera and petition salam. Don't be shy. It, it's fine. <laughs> and what do you have to say to your parents for raising you up so well and focused? I thank them so much. They're a big part of my life. I don't think I'd be who I am today without them. And yeah. 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 I love and you them. hope they keep supporting you. Yeah. Until you're 18, usifike uko 25 at bado kuna parents support support. Then, of course, they will, but I mean, I just had to say that for someone else. You know those people who don't leave home even when they're 35? Oh, you're shocked. There are people like that. Yeah, don't be shocked. They're there. They're just there eating their mother's food and not going out to hustle. They're there. So don't be like that, eh? Yeah, you leave Mapema. But anyway, you're going to high, I mean, at high school, medical school. So you won't even be there. But I wish you all the best. Thank you. Yeah, it can only get better for you from here. And thank you for coming. Why thank do you keep you. laughing? <laughs> Asante Sana for coming, eh? Thank you. Okay. So that's Tracy Buku for you. She's only 16. She's an author, find on Wattpad. She's also a film production, specifically script writing. Again, she's only 16. What are you doing with your life, whatever age you may be? Get inspired by this young girl. If you want to know more about her, find her on Wattpad. Her name is Lavender Skies, okay? We take a break. We come back with Beyond the Sport. Brian Suma is going to be anchoring that story. Ni mara kwanza pia kwenda Afcon zile za eh ni mimi ndio nimefunga nini